So I kind of already knew this, but I'm a little bit crazy. I blame Disney for making their princesses all have a bunch of animals follow them around. Snow White, like she sings and all these birdies and deer and all these animals are just like following her around and you're like, that's cool. Jasmine has a friggin' tiger. Even in the new ones, that tangled chick, she's got like her little lizard chameleon guy. Disney made me believe that when I'm an adult and if I just sing, a bunch of animals will come to me and like me. Basically, Disney Screwed everybody up. Maybe I'm the only one. Okay, so fast forward. I'm in middle school and being like, Dad, can I please get a bird because of Polly? So I work really hard to get this cockatiel and the cockatiel is mean to me, okay? So we get rid of it. I get another cockatiel and he died. And we found this bird and it was a yellow collared mini macaw. We named him Boudreau. But then I went to my friend's house. I didn't take care of my bird for like a day. My dad was like, we're getting rid of the bird. And then my mom felt bad about it. So she got me another bird like a year later. But then I started doing theater. I had a job. I was like never home. I had to get rid of my white-eyed conure. So then fast forward in high school. What's the more low maintenance pet? Rats. So I got this little itty bitty rat and she died. And I swear I tried to keep that thing alive. I fed her baby food and Gatorade from syringes. I kid you not. I loved this rat. What's the cure for when your rat dies? You get two more rats. I graduated high school and I used my graduation money to buy a ferret without my parents' consent. So I had this ferret living in my closet, had that thing potty trained, but then my mom found it and was like, you better get rid of that thing. Then I grew up, but I still have a husband to answer to. Our house that we were moving into didn't allow pets at the time. I was like, let's get a bunny. You can actually see a video of him on my husband's channel. I'll leave a link to that in the description. But then they allowed dogs and I'd rather have a dog than a bunny. So I got rid of Albert and got a dog and that was Hero. And then for Mother's Day, I got Ruger. Boo Boo was just, a, I don't know, I just missed having a bird. So I got him. I'm done getting pets and want any more pets. I'm good. But then I went to Petco to get dog food and there was a little bird and he's a little green treat conure. I'd put my finger by the cage and he'd flip over. And so I took Chris to come see him. He's like, yeah, he's really cute. You shouldn't have got boo-boo. Get rid of boo-boo and you can get this bird. How long does boo-boo live? Okay, when he dies, you can get another bird. I begged him. He was like, okay, you will wait till payday. I got a bird today, <laughs> again. Don't worry, I think I'm as crazy as you do. So this is Domino. My husband cannot die, I've decided, because I obviously have animal hoarding tendencies. If I had it my way, I would have a pack of dogs and a flock of birds, because I'm crazy like that. People are like, well, why don't you go into a profession doing that? And I'm like, I did, huh, I'm a dog trainer, but I can never work at a pet store because I would be coming home with a new pet every week. Now I'm thinking, how am I going to have time for all these pets? 